airless, waterless void. This precious sphere, covered as it is by more than two-thirds water, would more rightly be called planet ocean. For it was in the ancient sea that all life began, and it is the sea that sustains it still. Some of the ocean's inhabitants have remained perfect and unchanged since the dawn of time. Others have left the sea to walk or crawl upon the land, and some, like the great whales, the seals, and sea lions, have returned to it. The creature to have most recently attempted this homecoming is man himself. With faltering, furtive steps, we are just beginning to unravel the timeless mysteries of the oceans. And by doing so, find it not the dangerous, dark, and unwelcoming place of myth, but a fragile and beautiful world in which we are still the mere visitors. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Natalia, and I would like to welcome you all to the Pacific Andrusi Gardens and introduce our diver, Dean, who will be our guide through the small corner of the underwater world today. You are presently 5 meters or 50 feet below the water surface, according to an actual web so that is 150 feet in length and 50 feet wide. More than 500 animals of various species, all native to the local area and have the areas surrounding the vessel in a natural but protected environment. The water temperature outside the viewing port is currently 8 degrees Celsius or 48 degrees Fahrenheit, which is why being wet is protected from swimming or is not in the least being cold. In addition to this dry suit, he wears the wave belt that helps to control his bonds. At this step, the air supply will last him up to 90 minutes. Through the use of underwater communication, you can hear and talk to us. Hi, Dean. How are you doing today? Dean? How are you? Hey, Dean. Dean, we didn't hear you. shellfish, sponges, anemones, fish, and other sea stars. 
Once the victim has been located, its grasp are open with a pressure sometimes exceeding 100 pounds. The sea star then forces its own stomach out of its body into an over the